In prime time news this evening, Petrojam dismisses claims that its fuel is being stolen. For any theft to occur, it would take an elaborate collusion at many layers. PEP results out next week. Hope for former Fly Jamaica workers who are yet to get outstanding payments. Good evening and welcome to Primetime News on air and online at onespotmedia.com. I'm Archibald Gordon. And I'm Janella Precious. Also, also this evening, the top business news of the day. Herman Green has our preview, Herman. Thanks, Janella. Well, we have smart meters promised for every household in Jamaica. How much is it going to cost? How long is it going to take? That's from the JPS and I'll tell you all about it later in the business day. And from business we go to sports. Spencer Darlington, what's happening there? All right, thank you very much, Archie. Well, the JFF president has been speaking about the accreditation follow-up involving the Reggae Girls Ambassador at the Women's World Cup, which is ongoing. We'll give you the details later. There's also sports commentary, E-Prime, and weather in this newscast. But before the break, the feedback question. This evening we're asking, do you think a new PNP president will make the party more competitive electorally? You can share comments online, facebook.com slash television Jamaica and tweet us at television jam. Please stay with us. Primetime News returns right after this break. <laughs> 